On the Feast of the Annunciation, en route to a parish, I noted a billboard with the message, Love is fleeting, knowledge lasts. This was quite disturbing to me, given the definitions of love and knowledge with which I function. I thought initially that the billboard was sponsored by an educational institution that was putting its product knowledge above the gift of love. I apologize to the educational institutions for this presumption. I learned later that the message intended to convince people to get information about HIV AIDS. I suppose the sponsoring organization wanted to make the point that intimacy, even in the name of love, can bring lasting effects. Accordingly, knowledge of one's partner and knowledge of the facts are the protection one needs. One may safely assume that here knowledge is understood as knowledge about. One needs to know about a partner. One needs to know about the options for safe intimacy. We Christians understand that there is a difference between knowing about someone and knowing someone. When the angel told Mary of her being chosen to bear God's Son, she said, I know not man. Of course, she was betrothed to Joseph, but she was not married to him. Married love with its commitment is the way to truly know another. This love is a model for all love. God is often characterized as the all-knowing one. Sometimes we take that to mean he knows everything we do so that he can hold us accountable on Judgment Day. The Bible, however, teaches us that his knowing us is a loving knowledge. Indeed, any knowledge that is not founded on love is not real knowledge at all. Love that is not founded on commitment is not real love at all. Jesus' death on the cross proves his love for us. Pope Benedict, in speaking to young people on Palm Sunday, challenges us to dare to love. First, be witnesses to love, proclaiming the good news of salvation. Always prepare for a future of love, whether as a married person or a celibate, or just preparing for the opportunities of tomorrow by being attentive to the presence of God. Grow in love through study and practice of virtue. Daring to love, truly love, we will come to true knowledge. We will know others and let them know us. We will know God and be the person he knows. Love, true committed love, is not fleeting. Knowing God and being intimate with another whom we truly know, we will be protected. This knowledge lasts.